won the tour finals here twice, then the Worlds, then the, uh, which will put Germany in a good position. But Dane, tell us a little bit more about the two American players out there. Well, first off, that's the full-time blocker. You'll find her up at the net, and an excellent blocker she is. Summer Ross out of San Diego, California. Six foot one inches tall, one tour victory on the FIVB. That happening in the Moscow in 2018. Her partner, the most decorated collegiate beach volleyball athlete in the United States. A spectacular defender, a very cerebral player, an amazing volleyball IQ, and that's the 24-year-old out of Costa Mesa, California, Sarah Hughes, and she also has that one victory to her name. Now across the net, there is a lady that needs no introduction. That is the reigning Olympic gold medalist, Laura Ludwig, 33 years of age. She's also the reigning world champion, winning in Vienna two years ago. And this crowd absolutely loves her. She has bounced back after having a child and taking off the 2018 season. And I'll tell you what, Nick, she has not skipped a beat. She has played spectacular this week. But she is with a new partner, Margareta Kosuch, a five-time German Player of the Year on the indoor circuit. She's 32 years of age, and she's still in the process of converting her game from the indoor to the beach. But what better way to do it than with Laura Ludwig, one of the best leaders you will ever see. So they're trying to create the magic. And with this home crowd behind them, they have to be the favorite, despite being a wild card in this event. Of course, Laura Ludwig is a very busy mother. Her son, Teo, was one last Friday. And those, though, one of the stories that the media have been focusing on, how, for the first time in life, she's mixing her full-time training with being a parent and a mum. And her answer has been very sweet, but very honest. She said she's finding it really tough doing both. And uh, that has uh, adhered her to the German fans even more. Ludwig will play defence right-handed. Kosuch will be the blocker for Germany. And here we go with the first play of the opening set. And there is classic Lara Ludwig at full stretch in defense, digging that ball up from the sand and allowing her partner Maggie Kosic to put it away. And Germany put the first score on the board. Good hit by Hughes, but Ludwig, she is so quick and anticipates so well as a defender. You got to get the ball to the sand quickly. Ludwig again. Wow. We saw her the other night just flying around the court, and this crowd absolutely adores Laura Ludwig because of the effort she puts in every single play. Hughes with the service for the USA. Ludwig sets up her partner, Kosic. Smashes that ball right down the center of the American court. This is the player we need to watch carefully, Dane. And Maggie Kosic, or Margarita Kosic, and she's learning quick. She's learning the skills and drills of the beach game coming from the, the indoor circuit. And I think there's been an upward curve in her play just at these World Championships alone. Yeah, this is kind of a crash course in beach volleyball no question about it their best finish so far is just a ninth but they're gonna go far with serves like that an ace right down the middle summer ross unable to control it and a shank off to the right germany off to a very quick start well uh Good play from Summer Ross because right now everything that she's firing at Laura Ludwig is coming right back at her. But on the second attempt here, Summer Ross goes the other way and puts that ball away nicely. Yeah, you, you better go the other way, right? You hit anywhere in the vicinity of Laura Ludwig and she seems to get a hand on it, get that ball in a playable position. Just out of play from Maggie Kosic. That's what you're going to see. A lot of serves going over to Kosuch, and she is going to have to step up if Germany is going to prevail. She has to keep her unforced errors to a low number. 
You can clearly see the Americans targeting the newcomer with the uh, black T-shirt on under her vest. It's a pretty chilly day here in Hamburg, particularly for the time of year. Side switch with a total of seven points on the lead, but most importantly, for the first time in this opening set, the USA go ahead. And it's aggressive play by Sarah Hughes in transition that gets it done. Aggressive point run from the Americans. Again, Ross targeting Kosic. Another error from the German. Lack of experience showing. Kosic with kind of a poke shot, trying to go angle. The idea was there and the court was open, but she could not execute. It's kind of interesting having Sarah Hughes on the court right after Kelly Clays. They teamed up in college for the most lethal duo of all time. There was a stretch at one point when Sarah Hughes and Kelly Clays won 103 consecutive matches. Wow. Just really could not be touched. They won their sophomore, junior, and senior year the national championship. And now that game translating to the FIVB World Circuit. It is going to be a fight. Now they're on different teams, and there's so many American women's teams that are strong. It's really a toss-up. No one's really committing on who those top two teams will be to represent the United States in 2020. And is there a story behind where they're not playing? Why they're not playing together now, Dan? Well, I think just the partnership wore its course, and I think for them to grow, they needed to go their separate ways, and that's sometimes the case. You know what? They could get back together in the future sometime. It probably won't happen before 2020, but sometimes partnerships just go south a little bit. Yeah. We saw it with Alison and Bruno on top of the world, world champions, gold medalists, and they go their separate ways, so it's difficult to stay together. It's very rare that you see a team like a Misty Man, Kerry Wall, stay together for so many years and through so many Olympics. This is good play from Team USA. Germany have called a timeout here. Lara Ludwig's uh, partner, Maggie Kosic, being targeted with just about everything. Every serve, every attacking shot. And uh, Lara Ludwig getting a little frustrated She's having to work so hard, the lady on the right with number two on her shirt, that's Maggie Kosic. She did play with Carla Bourget in the 2017 World Championships. So she's not a complete rookie, but uh, clearly every team that plays this German partnership on screen knows that they've got to do as much as they can to keep the play away from uh, Lara Ludwig who has the skills to go over on one and still put the ball away. This crowd, absolutely electrifying. They have come out in full force. And it doesn't matter if it's a weekday, a weekend, morning or night, they have really packed this house to support their German teams. Sarah Hughes with the service. That justifies the call of the timeout from Germany. Just that 30 second break can often affect the focus, concentration, certainly the rhythm and momentum of the opposing team. Mission accomplished for Germany. Kosuch with the serve. Jump float to Hughes. April Ross with the set. Nice shot there from that Sarah Hughes. Sarah Hughes looking really smooth right there on the right side. A, a beautiful pass and then the way she comes in patiently and surveys the defense and then executes with a nice little follow through over the top of the block. Really composed at the moment. Summer Ross. Again, everything being fired. In that rally, Laura Ludwig got one touch of the ball. And so the tactical play is working well for the Americans. Just put everything Maggie's way. Here she is attempting the block. And her block's just a little bit too far off the net. If she seals the net, that would be a block. 
All it takes is a few inches off, and the ball sneaks through. Samaros comes out on top. Both of the blockers up at the net, taking a good stare at each other. This is looking good for the USA, Dane. Six clear. Yeah, Summer Ross is a solid blocker. She knows what to do when that ball is set a little bit over by the Germans. She stays patient, waits, and then pushes at the end. Right now, Maggie Kosuch in a little bit of trouble. That's the best shot that we've seen from Kosuch so far in this first set. And it's an important side out for Germany. Look at that. Nice roll, control. We're going to have to see more of that. Margaret Kosuch, who is really being pressured right now. The Americans are doing exactly what you should when you play a Laura Ludwig. Try to take her out of the game because she will insert herself as she does right there with a tough serve. Laura Ludwig, beautiful jump float. A lot of movement on that ball and so difficult to pass. Even the great passing of Sarah Hughes, that one gets shanked. And the United States give another one up. I love Laura Ludwig. You're going to cut me out of the game, then I'll make my mark with the serve, if nothing else. Oh, and that will be a confidence boost for the German blocker. Maggie Kosic gets her first block of the match. Sarah Hughes trying to overpower. Ball might have been a little too inside. No ability to go back to the line, and Kozic knows it, so she takes away the angle, and she seals it this time really nicely. Ludwig continues her impressive service run. Perfect weight on the ball from that shot of Sarah Hughes. Maintains the American four-point lead. We're heading into the Tech timeout. 13, 8, or 9 to 12. Oh, that's trouble. Kosic took her eye off it. And a free ball for the Americans. Oh, it's all Lara Ludwig almost out of the court to save the ball in the first attack. And then finally finishes it. And that is a big score for Germany going into the technical timeout. 9 to 12 against the USA. Look at Laura Ludwig going for it, making sure she stays out of the, the banners at the end. But here's the hit. Summer Ross, that's not a 100% hit. If you're in transition, you better rip that ball and get it to the sand because if you don't, Laura Ludwig, she'll just brush it right down the middle with 100% effort. You have to take advantage of any opportunity, and Laura Ludwig knows that. She came strong in transition, Summer Ross did not. So the technical timeout tells us that we're at the halfway point of the opening set. Credit where it's due, it's an impressive start for Team USA. And what they're trying is to keep Laura Ludwig out of the match as much as they possibly can. All of their service will go to Maggie Kosic. All of their attacking shots will go to the blocker of the German team. Once the defense of Germany gets involved in the match, all of a sudden, Germany starts putting points on the board. So how long can they keep this going? Or can Maggie Kosic just get her confidence where she needs it and also start striking back at the Americans? It's a fascinating opening set, but right now, the heat is on Germany, and the advantage is with the USA. Hughes up over the top of the block, cross-court, and the advantage is back with the Americans. 13 points to nine. It's a good lead to go into the second half of this opening set. The Americans have to be careful, be as consistent as possible. The German contingent up there taking stats on every single play. And there's a rip by Kosuch right down the line. 
It's interesting, this team of Summer Ross and Sarah Hughes, they won an event at the Moscow four-star event, a huge event. But since then, things have been a bit rough. Their last four tournaments, the best finish they've gotten is ninth and finished 17th in Warsaw. And Maggie Kozuch getting herself right back into this one. Yeah, that's the only problem for the American game plan here, Dane, is that if Maggie gets lifted by the crowd, then, uh, and that kind of block will give her nothing but confidence, sending every possible ball Maggie Kosuch's yes. way may backfire. Look at that block, up and over the net. <laughs> Maybe a little early, premature <laughs> celebration. <laughs> She's so happy to get one down. Here's Laura Ludwig with service. Watch out because it's been successful. And that's a good serve received from Ross. Again, magical movement in the back of the court from Laura Ludwig. That was a quick whistle. Didn't look like that ball was down, right? It looked like Laura got it up. Sorry, Hughes. Californian. That's too tight. Oh, that's no good. And uh, that's a good score for the USA. That's the first poor pass that we've seen from Laura Ludwig. We expect perfection from her every time. Yeah, she just tried to set that ball a little too aggressively. The ball ends up going and drifting over the net just a little bit. And smart play by Summer Ross. Hughes again with service. You know where the service is going. Now, this is good news for Germany because Maggie Kosuch is starting to feel a little more confident, certainly more confident than she was in the opening exchanges of this first set. And she's starting to kill the ball quite consistently now. Kozuch getting a little bit more comfortable as this match goes on. Hughes on the attack. Uh, comes off the fingertips of the German blocker. USA maintain their four-point lead with a side switch. Summer Ross. Beautiful serve. Five clear now. Americans need to hold their nerve, keep their focus, and try and close this first set out. Smart play by Maggie there. She goes up, sells it like she's going to crush it, and then a little tip shot over the block of Summer Ross. But the Americans continue to target her. They've done their homework, and the scouting says if you're going to serve someone between Ludwig and Kosuch, you go to Kosuch. She'll give back a couple every once in a while, so it's going to be up to her to take care of things. Let's see if Germany can cut into this lead. That's, well, an uncharacteristic error from uh, Laura Ludwig of uh, Germany. Puts the ball right into the net service error. 18-13 now. USA can smell the victory in this first set. Well, Laura Ludwig did not get the best of sets from her partner to attack the USA. It's all celebrations for the North Americans. They're 19 to 13 clear. What a result this would be for Team USA. What a confidence boost this is for Hughes and Ross to beat Laura Ludwig in front of her home crowd. The European world and Olympic champion is in trouble here with her new partner. Solid block right there against Ludwig. And Ludwig, you can just read it on her face. A bit of frustration. She's kind of been taken out. And then when she has had opportunities, the Americans have kind of been there. Well, Laura Ludwig now moving up to the net more and more to try and put points on the board for Germany. 
Well, she's actually moving closer to the middle to steal that pass to relieve that pressure because of Kozuc getting so many serves. And look at this, a knuckle poke shot, a drop shot out of reach of the outstretched arms of Summer Ross. Kosic with the serve. Summer Ross on the attack for the USA. Good cover from Ludwig. Can she finish it for Germany? Has a little look. Maggie Kosic looks to finish this rally. Oh! That ball is out of play. Just checking that there's no touch on the ball. Set point for the United States of America. Well, it's not a huge surprise, but the point score difference is... Oh, a good, brave, aggressive serve to try and wrap it up from uh, Summer Ross, but unsuccessful. Second set point for the USA. With Laura Ludwig to serve for Germany. Here it comes. Down the line, clips it, it's all over. Another service error from Ludwig. 21 to 15. The United States of America win the first set. That's a good start for Hughes and Summer Ross. It's a tough tactic. Some may say it's a cruel tactic, but the way the two American ladies have targeted Maggie Kosuch has been the secret to success so far in this game. For Ross and Hughes. Yeah, let's take a look at the stats here. Pretty even. Blocks, kills, right on par, but the side out percentage, almost 70 for the United States as opposed to 50 for Germany. And that's because we saw some of those errant passes by Maggie Kosuch. She's going to have to clean those up for sure if Germany is going to turn the tide. USA serve placement. Well, they're avoiding Laura Ludwig at all costs, going cross-court, 67% to Maggie Kosuch. That has been the game plan. We've seen Ludwig start to pinch the middle to maybe take some pressure off of Kosuch, but it didn't matter in the end. The United States had already put up a huge lead, and they won that in commanding fashion, 21 to 15, I believe. And right now, a little frustrated for Laura Ludwig, the defending world champion, the defending Olympic gold medalist, player who basically done it all. Won the World Tour Finals, and we are set to go in set number two. Germany must win the second set to stay in the match. It's a perfect start for the USA, literally picking it up where they left off at the end of the opener with the first point on the board. And of course, a comfortable victory in that first set, 21 to 15. What we're seeing here as well, Dane, is that uh, you can be the best beach volleyball player in the world, but if your partner's not as sharp as you, it can often catch you out. And it looks like the Americans have found the weak leak in this new German team. And look at the confidence from Team USA now as well. They're really hustling and fighting for the ball. Spectacular second point on the board. That was the first time that we have seen the Ludwig, the over on one. And apparently Sarah Hughes has done her homework because she gobbled it up, transitioned, ripped it right down the middle. <laughs> and Laura has to be thinking, now what in the world is that? My first over on one. And the Americans are all over it. Hughes with the service. Here's Kosuch on the attack. Oh, she struck that ball a little too hard again. 3-0 to the United States of America. Let's not forget that Hughes and Summer Ross are seeded 11 coming into this World Championships. Rather, Ludwig and uh, Maggie Kosuch come in as wild card entrants, therefore seeded 34. Well, unlucky there. Sarah Hughes not to get that ball trickling over onto the German side of the net. First point on the board for Germany. Maggie Kosuch to serve. 32 years of age. Originally from Hamburg, now residing in Milan, Italy. 
April Ross with the perfect set for Hughes. Over the top of the block she goes, four to one. Look at that roll shot, right up and over, executed nicely, great rotation on the ball, a beautiful call from Summer Ross, line, 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 and the United States up four to one. Continue to go to Kosuch. Look at Sarah Hughes in the backcourt. And misdirection, going one way, hitting opposite across her body for the kill. The United States on fire right now. Here's the high line that Sarah Hughes is all over. And their transition game is on point as well. This set being way outside, but there's the athleticism of Hughes. Six, five to one. Actually, we got a timeout, an early timeout, Nick. And you know when you get an early timeout, that spells a lot of trouble, so. Laura Ludwig, the veteran that she is, understands. Unforced errors absolutely off the charts. Six for Germany, zero for Hughes and Summer Ross of the United States. And the majority of those six errors have been Maggie Kosuch. And you know, it's interesting. You don't want to do it, but the comparisons are going to happen. Maggie Kosuch or Kira Valkenhorst. And it just goes to show you how strong Kira Valkenhorst was as a player or is as a player but retired now and she kind of always took a, a kind of a backseat a quiet approach where is the one in front of the camera the majority of the time laura ludwig that's a very good point that you make great play from both teams here but laura ludwig trying to play both positions here and this is where Germany will need to be careful as uh, Ludwig creeps forwards with her play, creeps into the side of her partner's court to try and make amends. That's a vital side out for the German team in this second set, having lost the first 21 to 15 to Team USA. Here's Ludwig with service. Summer Ross on the attack for the USA. And again, the error comes from Maggie Kosic at the net. Sticking to their game plan, the USA here, Dane. Everything they can possibly put Maggie's way, they do. Just exposing the least experienced player on the court. time they are targeting Kosuj when she drops off the net as a blocker instead of going cross court they go right at her she's still moving and it is a solid strategy right now Kosuj has to take a deep breath and start to recover because the serves coming right back at her oh that's a lovely block from Summer Ross and Summer Ross shuts that one down at the net. Another dent in the confidence of Maggie Kosic. The German crowd have gone silent. We're almost at 10,000 in the stadium here tonight. They've all come to see Lara Ludwig. But the story is not unfolding the way that the local fans had hoped for. Good save from Ludwig. Not enough direction on the ball. Too much work for Kosuch to do. Germany have already burned their time out. And the USA are seven clear in this second set. Well, we've done a lot of German matches on this center court, and we haven't seen them silenced often. But right now, they are doing whatever they can to try to give their team a boost because, really, the pressure has been put on by the United States. Well, it takes an attack from Ludwig to finally get the ball down on the American court. Three to nine for Germany. 
Look at the rotation by Laura Ludwig. She picks her spots and she hits them. Taking off the 2018 season, Laura Ludwig did not miss a beat. Unlucky from America. Good play. Germany take the point, much needed at that. Little turn and burn by Summer Ross, keeps it alive. But then tries to be a little too slick with that line shot. It ends up out of bounds, and Germany trying to close the gap. Kosic puts the ball into the net. 10-4, six-point advantage for the USA. They've won the first set, 21 to 15. It's fair to say Sarah Hughes and Summer Ross can stick to their game plan here. They're into the next round of the World Championships. Better shot from that Maggie there. That's the type of hit that Maggie Kosich is looking for. Squeaking it right by the right hand of Summer Ross. You can tell by her reaction that she thought she might have had another block. Jump float from Ludwig, targeting Summer Ross. Now on the attack. Cross court shot, perfectly timed. Sarah Hughes. Summer Ross, both of them had remarkable youth careers. Hughes won the bronze medal at the U19 and U21 World Championships. And you know, Ross became the first player to win the U19 and U21 Championships in the same season. Well over on two, good play, good vision. 12-5. And this is going to be a very sad moment. I can't see Germany digging their way out of this hole right now. Ludwig is all over the court. You know, Laura Ludwig's doing everything that she can to insert herself in this game, and the United States are doing everything they can to keep her out of it. Better, better shot from Maggie Kosic. Here's Not a, easy stepping into the boots of Kira Volkenhorst. It was a brave decision. There weren't many that wanted to play with Laura Ludwig when they realized that she needed a new partner. So I think credit where it's due to Maggie Kosic. She puts on an ace as well. Don't write me off just yet, the new German player tells us. That's yeah, a lot of pressure, Nick. You bring up a really good point. It's not you're playing with Laura Ludwig and the pressure of how good she is, and you have to play up to that level, but you also have the scrutiny of the, the public and the media with a magnifying glass on you. It is not an easy spot to be in, but you know what? A lot of players would dream of it to play with that kind of defense behind their block. Good play from the USA. First and foremost for reading the Ludwig over on one attacking shot. Secondarily, for maintaining the pressure at the net against the Margarita Kosic. Beautiful set, but way too close to the net. Kosic just hovering, but can't get over there laterally to get in front of Summer Ross, who crushes it cross court. Summer Ross serves for the USA. You know where that serve is going. Ludwig with the set. Sorry, Hughes. Beautiful play from Hughes. Germany get a much needed point. Going in. <laughs> to the technical timeout. German crowd doing everything they can to lift the home players here. That was such an important score for Germany. And they really had to work for this one. Again, Sarah Hughes runs down the over on one shot. We've seen that shot go down cleanly. 
many a time. But then the joust here is won by the veteran Laura Ludwig, pressing harder, out muscling Summer Ross. There's a great look at the joust. Both players simultaneously hitting it in. The celebration by Ludwig. She knows how important it is. She knows that this match is slipping away. They're going to have to turn things around now, grab the momentum, and I'd like to see them take even more risks from the back line. They, they need to serve tougher. The United States is doing a great job of passing, and their offense looks way too smooth. Well, we're starting to fill the uh, upper part of the stadium here this evening, over 10,000. Focus is on Germany and the United States of America in the elimination matches of the women's competition here in the Rebel Beach Arena. Uh, Center Court has already seen Clays and Sponsil go through for the USA. And here live now, Hughes and Summer Ross also looking good to put another German duo out of the World Championships. Superb up from uh, Ludwig, but the USA come back again. Wow. Laura Ludwig, unbelievable. Finally beaten after three of the most spectacular defensive saves that we've seen tonight. But the point goes to the USA, 14-8. A commanding lead for the North Americans. Look at the defense by Laura Ludwig. Just laying it out sacrificing this time she goes to her left the left-handed extension full sacrifice of the gold medalist trying to keep her team involved and in this match but then sarah hughes comes in and ends up finishing off the rally but it's not for a lack of effort for the germans watching laura ludwig just an absolute pleasure with her effort on every single play. Sorry, Hughes serving Kosic. It's another poor serve received. Ludwig gets her partner out of trouble. But again, I don't think Kosic was expecting that back, to be honest. 15-8 now to the USA. Yeah, well, Ludwig here. has shown her world class in this competition. And for Maggie Kosic, it's been a steep learning curve at these World Championships. We've got a medical timeout here. Okay. Medical timeout can be up to how long, Dane? Five minutes, is that correct? Yeah, once the doctor gets to the athlete, you have a five minute clock, and then you have to decide whether you will continue or not. And I'm not sure if she had a chiropractic adjustment right there. And continue to touch her chest. Maybe she's a little locked up. We're not sure, but the pressure definitely has been mounting for Maggie Kosuch. And an interesting angle to all of this is United States, Brazil, Germany, but mainly the United States and Brazil. They're fighting so hard for those top two spots. And you remember on the court in the last match, it was Kelly Clays and Sarah Sponsel winning. So when Sarah Hughes and Summer Ross walk onto this court, they're thinking, we have to keep up with that other American team. We need to win to get to the next round because you don't want to fall too far back in terms of Olympic qualifying points. And that's what this is all about. You have these big five-star events, the World Championships, Vienna, Stad, Rome. After those events are, are finished, we're going to have a real close indicator of who is in charge. And there is the look of a bit of a frustrated champion. Laura Ludwig has had so much success right here in Hamburg, her hometown. 
winning the World Tour Finals here. And just is adored. But she's a competitor. When she steps on that court, she accepts nothing less than the best. And right now, she wants to get back out there and start fighting again. So hopefully, Maggie Kosich yeah, is all right. Well, it's uh, a story that will uh, continue after these World Championships. The story of Lara Ludwig and Maggie Kosic. Dane, the million dollar question I have for you right now, it looks like the play will continue. Will Lara Ludwig stay with Maggie Kosic or will she search a new partner for Tokyo 2020? That's a fascinating question. It, it, it really all depends. I don't know what her options are in terms of who wants to play. She needs a full-time blocker. Yeah. Lara's asking uh, Maggie here, do you want to continue? Well, I thought the match may have been brought to an early close there. Not the case. Maggie Kosuch comes back out onto the court. It's a commanding lead. I just hope that the Americans have stayed warm, focused, and can pick it up where they left off. Here we go. Resuming set two, USA leading at 15 to eight, having already collected the opening set at 21 to 15. Hughes with the service, and the service error due to over a five minute break. Yeah, to answer your question, Nick, it'll be interesting, you know. Laura Ludwig wants to play with the best player that she can play with. She'll obviously have to always look at her options. But in terms of qualifying, you know, you have to register for tournaments about 21 days prior too. So you got Stad just around the corner. Vienna is right at the beginning of August. So I would say that this will be the team and they will tough it out and try to get back to the Olympics to make the magic happen. Oh, that's the Ludwig over on one. It's the Olympic and world champion's favorite shot. That's why we call it the Ludwig. And she's pulled it off again. Such a spectacular shot over the top of Summer Ross. Sarah Hughes was not expecting it back so quickly. And there's a very valuable score for Germany. <laughs> Laura Ludwig with service. Again, down the line, over the block of uh, Kosic, 17-10. Sarah Hughes has really played well in this match so far defensively. Been communicating well with her partner, Summer Ross, and they could really use a victory like this. We talked about how they've been finishing ninth 17th in the last event in Warsaw, and this would be a huge confidence boost for them to take down the defending world champion, Laura Ludwig, on her home court, regardless of who she's playing with. And look how many fans have come to support Ludwig tonight. Oh, and lucky Ludwig was there. Kosuch unable to fish it out of the net. 18 to 11 to the USA. I don't want to say, Dane, that they can coast a little now. I think they need to keep the intensity high, but it's tough to bet against the Americans. Well, they've been sharp from the beginning, right? They're, they're not giving away unforced errors. We saw that statistic. We're not sure exactly where it's at now, but it's about six or eight for the Germans, zero for the United States. And that has been a huge difference. They continue to pick on Kozuc. And the United States continues to have success. 19 to 11. Just a couple of points away now, the USA, from closing out this elimination match. Team USA are up 
next after this game as well. Brooke Sweat and uh, Kerry Walsh Jennings against Agatha and Duda from Brazil. Match point now for Hughes and Ross. And sadly for the German beach volleyball fans, their heroine is out of the competition. It's a good Kosuch shot. Kosuch gets one last point on the board. Yeah, I mean, it would take a miracle for them right now to, to come back and win. All the United States has to do is receive serve and put it away. And it has been complete domination by the U.S. Match point two for the USA. Ludwig with the service. April Ross looks to close it out. Summer Ross, I should say. There it is. 21-12 in the second set. A convincing victory for the USA against Germany. Two sets to zero. 21-15, 21-12. A confidence boost for Sari Hughes and Summer Ross of the USA. A big disappointment for the German fans. The European Olympic and world champion Lara Ludwig with her new partner Maggie Kosic goes out in the first of the elimination rounds. And with three American games back to back on center court, it is 2-0 to America over Germany. Ludwig did everything she possibly could to lift her game, help her partner, and pressure the Americans. But Team USA came with a very clear and brave game plan, which was to cut Ludwig out the match as much as they could, serving her partner Maggie Kosic, attacking her at the net. And success for the USA, an emphatic victory. Two to zero. Kills at 25 to 17, and the side out percentage tells a story of a very positive and uplifting match for Ross and Hughes. Let's go down to Dane at center court with the American winners. Congratulations, you guys. Really a solid match from start to finish. An unbelievable match for you guys. From start to finish, you dominated. It looked like the game plan was to keep the 2016 Olympic gold medalist Lauren Ludwig out of it. Were you happy with the way you executed? Yeah, we were so happy. And like Sarah was digging, flying all over the court. And this energy is amazing. It lifts us up. What was it defensively that you saw? We we call the over on one shot the Ludwig, but it looked like you did your homework. She only got one down, you got those other two up. Yeah, I mean, Laura's such a great player, and I've seen her being going over on one, so I, I mean, I look up to her as a player. I've studied her before, so my goal was to not let one of those drop. I let one, so a little disappointed in that, but overall, I'm really happy with how Summer and I played. You guys have been playing so well. You battle here. Of course, the last few tournaments have been a little rough a 17th in Poland how much confidence does a win like this give you so much confidence because we've been down in the dumps but now we're like lifting up like we hit a low and now we want to climb out of it <laughs> a lot of ups and downs you guys celebrate the victory and, and congratulations on advancing to the next round Thanks. well what a great result and the girls said it themselves they've been down in the dumps a little low with their performances in the FIVB world tour events leading into these world championships what a confidence boost it has been for Summer Ross and Sari Hughes, getting the better of the European Olympic and world champion Laura Ludwig and her new partner Maggie Kosic. That's all we've got time for. From Nick Fellows and Dane Blanton, many thanks for your company. It's goodbye for now.
Laura und Maggie, ähm, letztendlich im 16. Finale ausgeschieden. Was hat gefehlt, um ganz oben anzugreifen? Einfach nur ein bisschen Zeit oder war es dann tatsächlich auch letztendlich eure Teamzusammenführung, die sehr, sehr spät stattgefunden hat? Nein, ich glaube, wir haben auch schon hier gezeigt, dass wir sehr gutes Beachvolleyball spielen können und Potenzial haben. Heute haben wir leider nicht so richtig ins Spiel gefunden. Die Amis haben gut aufgeschlagen, haben uns das Leben ein bisschen schwer gemacht mit Blockabwehr und ähm, haben hier einen soliden Zeitlaut durchgespielt. Wir haben äh, leider nicht das Aufschlagspiel gemacht, was wir normalerweise können und auch zu viele Fehler dann leider einfach insgesamt gemacht, so dass wir es denen zu leicht gemacht haben. Bei den Amerikanerinnen sind die vielleicht auch so die Teams, die gerade so das Benchmark darstellen, die es zu schlagen gilt, auch in Zukunft in den kommenden Turnieren? Also ich glaube, das Wichtigste ist, sich auf sich zu konzentrieren, nicht auf das, was wer auf der anderen Seite steht, weil ich glaube, letztendlich geht es um uns und so wie Laura schon gesagt hat, heute konnten wir noch nicht so richtig ins, konnten wir nicht so richtig ins Spiel, ähm, sind wir nicht so richtig ins Spiel gekommen. Ähm, ist schade, weil, wir, weil die Leistung bisher sehr gut gewesen ist und ähm, ja, heute hat äh, aber trotzdem, also Block und Abwehr lief bei denen ja sehr gut. Wir liefen immer so ein bisschen hinterher, dann ein, zwei ähm, Aufschlagfehler zu viel, das, äh, das war alles ein bisschen schwierig. Na klar, sind wir jetzt gerade enttäuscht, enttäuscht Enttäuscht. Ähm, und trotzdem geht es jetzt direkt weiter, natürlich nächste Woche. Und äh, da werden wir uns dieses Spiel anschauen, reflektieren, woran das gelegen hat und anknüpfen an die Leistung, die wir ähm, ja, in, den, in, in der Vorrunde gezeigt haben. Wir haben es bei dir gesehen, diese Medical Timeout Mitte oder Ende des zweiten Satzes. Hat das Einfluss aufs Ergebnis gehabt? Ähm, also das ist schwer zu sagen. Also ähm, definitiv hatte ich ein bisschen Probleme mit dem Atmen, warum auch immer. Ähm, die haben sich aber danach gelöst, nach dem Medical Timeout. Also ich hatte sehr, sehr gute Unterstützung und äh, habe mich auch ähm, danach, klar, der Vorsprung von den, von den Staaten war jetzt natürlich schon groß. Aber trotzdem habe ich mich die letzten Punkte gut gefühlt. Dementsprechend, ähm, glaube ich, sind es andere Dinge, die wir angehen müssen. Nach Olympia Gold 2016, jetzt hier das Highlight in deinem Wohnzimmer. Was ist dein Fazit zu so kurz nach dem Spiel? Nicht auf euch persönlich, sondern eher auf Sie, wenn Stellenwert Beachvolleyball in Deutschland. Ja, ist natürlich der Wahnsinn. Also Hamburg hat, glaube ich, in den letzten drei Jahren äh, gezeigt, oder vier, viertes Jahr ist das jetzt hier schon in Hamburg, dass äh, es einfach äh, ein Riesen-Event ist, mithalten kann mit den ganz großen äh, Highlights wie Olympia. Ist auf jeden Fall sogar in der Woche ein volles Stadion und das muss man erstmal in ein anderes Land nachmachen. Und die Deutschen haben einfach Bock auf die Sportart, auf Beachvolleyball, das merkt man und es äh, ja, ist einfach schön, äh, das mitzuerleben. Ja. Die nächsten Wochen sind eigentlich von Turnieren geprägt. Euer Trainer spricht eher davon, dass er Zeit braucht, mit euch weitere Dinge zu entwickeln. Inwiefern ist das schwer, mitten in so einer Saison überhaupt jetzt so die Rückschlüsse aus so einer WM zu ziehen? Ich glaube, das ist ganz wichtig. Das gehört dazu, dadurch, dass wir ähm, eigentlich direkt immer agieren und reflektieren müssen, weil wir die Zeit natürlich nicht haben, ist es ganz wichtig, dass man das sozusagen parallel fühlt, führt. Und ähm, dementsprechend, wir brauchen auch die Erfahrung in den Wettkämpfen, denn in den Wettkämpfen zeigen sich natürlich viele Dinge, die sich im Training nicht zeigen. Deswegen ist es sehr, sehr gut, dass wir da parallel haben, äh, arbeiten, Dinge verbessern, Dinge verändern, aber natürlich auch Siege nach Hause holen wollen. Vielen Dank. Viel Glück. Danke.